giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. All right, next up, um, we're going to get into our mentor teams. So we had two mentor team submissions, and they are both very, very solid um, among the best robots we've seen. And if they were out on the field competing with the other teams, I'm really not sure where they would have placed, but I'm sure it would have been very solid. So first up, we have the second-ranked mentor team, which is Team Tuwu. I think is how you would say that. <laughs> um, this was made by Derek and FTC team 5485 Enderbots alum. And I believe it was rendered by Justin off the FTC Discord. I could be wrong, but I would probably bet some parts on that one. I really liked how complete this robot was and how it showed um, a lot of the different aspects down from um, the chain, like as far as I can tell, very nice chain on the drivetrain to a very solid looking intake. Probably wouldn't pick up catalysts, but um, that's all right. Their lid mechanism was very interesting. It was a lid mechanism for sure, so that was a plus, but um, <laughs> it was a very complex mechanism. And overall, I think the robot was really cool and had some complex aspects and some nice simple aspects. All right. In the first place, mentor place uh, award goes to uh, team nine, which is Wilson from who is an alum of FTC team fourteen four one seven Tryhard Robotics. And what can I say? This was a robot that just made our jaw drop. Uh, the packaging of all the mechanisms and styling of the overall robot and aesthetics really do remind us of you know the packaging that we see from Seven Sigma and Rising Tau, and it really just showcases that this robot. It's a dominant force on the playing field. You know, honestly, not one singular mechanism of this robot was like simple. This team looked for new ways in accomplishing the same goals as other teams, but instead they used a power shifter to switch between tank treads and mechanism wheels to get over the valley, which is extremely crazy compared to other teams in the CDC. But we really still liked how effective and practical the robot would be because its capability of scoring multiple toxins and catalysts at the same time. The unique power takeoff built into the lift allows for just two pairs of motors, uh, sorry, two motors to manipulate, manipulate two different scoring mechanisms. And an astonishing 17 pages, this team's robot profile <laughs> sought to deliver almost every single unique feature making this team stand out amongst the rest. The team also used generative design to create a brace within their lift and scoring mechanism, but we thought that that part could have just been a bit more refined for increased effectiveness. But overall, this clearly was one robot to rule them all. Yeah, I've got to talk about this robot for just one second. It was super incredible, and maybe would rely on some outlandish machining capabilities, but... It was insane. It had wires and the whole nine yards. It was very awesome. It was the only robot submitted to have wires, Cadden. Yeah. There you go. Um, before we get into the words, I just want to mention something real quick. Um, we've mentioned a lot uh, how heavy the catalysts are. And just to give you some perspective there, um, completely solid ABS plastics, uh, if I remember correctly, and they weigh exactly 0.5 kilograms each. And you can hold up to five of them because there's five per alliance. And so that gets to be pretty heavy. Now, before we get into our top three, we're going to talk a little bit about our awards. So first up, we've got our Snack Curator Award. Every team who submitted a, a robot submitted a snack list of five snacks. And this is just our way to talk about our favorite team, the team we think has the best taste. This is Team Tuwu. It, they are our snack curator choice. Um, overall, they had a good mix of kind of funny inside jokes and genuinely pretty unironic snacks that I think I would definitely enjoy on a good robotics night. What do you guys think? Yeah, I was laughing for at least five minutes after looking at this. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think there. I just think that this snack list was. The perfect combination of funny and tasty. Mm -hmm. There are so many inside jokes in just like specific pieces of this snack list. Like 
there is stuff that I know in the snack list that I don't get, and then I also know that there's stuff in the snack list that, like, other than, like, myself, Nate, and Derek would not get. Um, and really, like, we did not intend to give any mentor teams awards, and while all your snack lists were pretty fantastic, this one, we just, like, we just couldn't not give it the snack curator award. Mm-hmm. I did really like all the snack lists I saw, except that one who just put five Oreos. Uh, did not like that one. <laughs> you were supposed to do different things. Nate literally said you were doing five, same, five yeah. different types of Oreos. Uh, I just want to call out that team. I'm pretty sure that was Team 103. <laughs> um, I just want to call them out for that. All right. I still love you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Our uh, next award we're going to be talking about is the Rookie All-Star Award. All right. Our Rookie All-Star uh, for the CDC was Team 667. Um, they ended up getting eighth place, um, and I've talked about them before. This robot was really, really good, especially for a rookie. Um, again, just I can't really blame them for not having as much uh, custom because they are a rookie, but that's the one one of the two things, the custom and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the custom and lack of catalyst mechanism, I think are the two things that held this back from being a top three robot. Yeah, especially for a team without cat experience, um, showing their robot interacting with game elements was so huge and really helps not only your team get a scale of the elements and start to work with elements before you actually get them in your hands, it helps us as judges so much to be able to say, oh yeah, that's how that interacts. That's true. And something we also really loved about the robot was its overall aesthetic. Uh, it's got that, you know, all black except for the blue lettering for the logo as well as the um, numbers. And that reminds us, you know, again, of Seven Sigma where they've just got a really dominant robot with just a bit of, you know, colorful excitement on the lettering itself. And this does really show that it's a dominant force on the playing field. Mm -hmm. And next up, we've got the uh, Innovate Award. And we awarded this, uh, we awarded a team with an original robot and stellar document, uh, documentation. And we're going to be giving this award to Team 90, uh, 983 Electrostatic Discharge. And we really thought this was a really well thought out robot with a clear and effective engineering design process. Uh, the team won the Innovate Award for its ability to do multiple things with the same mechanism. Uh, you know, drawing inspiration form teams again, like Seven Sigma. I guess Seven Sigma is a really good team for me. Uh, and to top it off, it had a really wonderfully documented ro uh, robot profile, which you'll be able to see in the next slide, uh, that showcases the robot performing at every single stage of the containment craze game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think what really set this robot apart from the other Innovate candidates was just the documentation. Um, mm -hmm. They had one of the best robot profiles that I saw. Mm -hmm. And oh my bad, we'll be able to see the uh, documentation in the next few slides. My bad. Yeah, so they are um, one of the teams we've not seen yet. They're in the top three, so you'll have to hang on and see where they end up ranking. But they were really awesome, and make sure to um, guess where they ranked in our top three over in the chat. Yes. All right, next up uh, is our last award, and this is the Intelligence Award. Um, so this is something that our, especially Nate, I believe he picked out this award, felt just showed a clear intelligence um, to their robot design where everything made sense. And sometimes intelligence can be a bit ironic, but I don't think it is here. This was Team 228. Yes, so... Um, like Ethan said, Nate did help us pick out this robot as kind of intelligence is a thing that much of the community associates with, um, Nate, not generally, you know, just being smart, but the kind of brand of intelligence one might say with all the stickers and such. Um, but yeah, so the intelligence award is given to the team that strove to excel at all parts of the competition in a unique fashion. And we, we felt that that was exemplified in team 228 fish which as we mentioned before was made by atman jack and mason mm -hmm. um so 
This robot attempted to do it all on the game field, from the toxins to the containers and the lids. And despite the fact that they didn't do a catalyst scoring mechanism, we thought that this team would be easily able to integrate one and then become a truly, truly dominant force on the field. And their unique drivetrain power strategy and bold choice of using a larger spool to activate the lift were just a few of the features that put this team on the top in terms of the Intelligence Award. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.